This is the story of a delinquent who looked up on a dummy. This week in 1959, this story was printed in Jet Magazine. DC Man Marries then begins seven year sentence. In Washington DC, Dorothy Perry married handcuffed 33 year old Raymond Skinner just before he began serving a seven year sentence for breaking into a restaurant because she said having a wife would help his morale while serving time and give him a sense of responsibility. The Skinners were married by Judge Andrew J. Howard Jr., who sentenced the convict to 120 days for stealing a cornet March 11th. Skinner's defense attorney served as best man at the unusual wedding site. End of story. Can I just say that Dorothy Perry looks so happy to be marrying her man? Forget the cuff links. We'll go with handcuffs to accessorize this prison-bound marital ensemble. And the newlyweds will honeymoon on the phone via collect call. I guess, Dorothy, if you like it, we love it. Seven more years and he's all yours. How nice of her to care about his morale and sense of responsibility while he's in the clink. And what a coincidence. It just so happens that the judge who married them also was the judge who put the bridegroom behind bars just a month before this stupid wedding. Only, after learning a little bit more about our boy, Raymond, I saw that the part about the judge wasn't much of a coincidence at all. 1959 Prison Bay spent a good part of the 1950s getting arrested for stealing. So he had probably stood before every judge in Washington, D.C. as a defendant. In March of 1953, there was an article about him in the Evening Star about two separate robberies he had committed with the stolen property valued at over $1,100. He had also made the papers again for the robbery for which he would serve time after his wedding. He had broken into a restaurant basement and tried to steal $3,000 from its safe. That's worth about $31,000 in today's 2023 money. I guess our boy said, go big or go home. Well, the judge said, go to jail. Anyway, no wonder Dorothy wanted to lock him down before he got locked up. She had found herself a bona fide celebrity. He was in the papers as many times as Sammy Davis Jr. in the 1950s. But he appeared in the Evening Star one more time, when the couple's marriage license was announced in April of 1959. How romantic. Hubby was a master of breaking and entering, Hopefully, for Dum Dum Dorothy's sake, he wasn't a master of breaking hearts. Here's a big shout out to our friends at the Mall de Melanin, the online promotional site for over 100 businesses of black and brown ownership. Their shops feature clothing, jewelry, home decor, skin products, hair products, and products for your children and fur babies too. Mall de Melanin supports this channel and they have something for you discount coupons for some of their merchants each month. Their link is below in the description box. Sign up and start receiving your discounts with these new brands today. This video has been brought to you by me. Well, my Patreon is a sponsor for this video. If you like these dirty scandals on my channel, then you'll love my Patreon. Ties to Hot, Hot Mess History. It has all of the stuff that I can't talk about or show here because it's just too hot, too violent, too sexual, too graphic, too much. Come and join us there for the hot, hot mess history. The link is in the description box.